The next work you're going to do will deal with the third and the fourth column. Um, I have added these columns so that you know that there is um, plenty of, of um, examples of, of work um, that, that kids could read. Um, so often we don't um, give kids choice because we say we don't have the material to give kids choice. And while you may not have a, a thorough library in your classes, there are oodles and oodles and oodles of memoir available online. And um, you know, some would say because of the wealth of research that's out there, that providing only one text, having kids all read the same text you know, can sometimes be considered educational malpractice because, you know, we um, are making lots of assumptions. We're assuming that the kids want to read that. We are assuming that all the kids can read it, that it's accessible for kids. Um, we may be leaving out kids who, who can't read at that level, um, and therefore we're unable to teach them the skills and strategies and standards that we need them to learn um, because we're providing text for them that is 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 not reachable, is not attainable. Um, and we also know um, that that requiring um, a single uh, book can kill the love of reading. And, and ultimately, that that's really what our jobs are as teachers, is to, to build a, a lifelong love of reading and to see reading as something that can be powerful and moving. Um, so these two columns um, offer you lots and lots and lots of choices um, to um, have kids read or to have kids experience. Even your non-readers could go to the digital memoir um, column and watch memoir, listen to memoir. Um, the memoir available online has lots and lots of short memoir that you could provide to kids to, to read um, if you are, are you know, analyzing um, memoirs as readers um, in addition to writing memoir. Uh, so I would love for you to take a look at these two columns, you know, really take a look at all the things that I have um, provided you there. There's tons more. Um, but then to think about, you know, how might you uh, use this in the class and to do the task that's on the task sheet as well. The other plug that I want to give is it is such an, uh, an, uh, a wonderful thing to, to provide um, you know, actual copies of books in hand memoir. And your librarian, Laura Gray, um, is wonderful at you know, a wonderful resource to go to her and say, I would like to have a cart full of uh, memoir at all different levels that my kids could could read, um, you know, is another way of supplementing their reading and giving them choice. Uh, uh, so um, do, do look over these two columns and um, then do the task that is assigned to the, these two columns.